Don't put the fuse Clapton's in there. That's too much wire for so many people. Please don't. Put regular round in. Be normal like everybody else. What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes, yes, it's Sam be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. <sighs> you have no idea the amount of requests that I get for this style of an RTA. So what we're gonna be looking at today is another Typhoon product based out of Germany. And I think everybody that knows me knows what I'm always vaping on is the GT3. While I love the GT4 in the sense of versus the GT3, but the GT3 is just that much better of an RTA to me. So what we're gonna be going over today is called the GTR. And when you look at this online, it's the same price point of what the GT3 is. And I think it's a little bit cheaper than what the GT4 is. However, this is listed as a special edition. That probably means that they're only going to make X amount of these. And then after that, you're not gonna see them anymore and this is literally the definition of what a mouth-to-lung rta is i've already taken this out i've already looked at it and i can tell you that the way that you adjust the airflow i know that i've seen it on an rta before i just can't recollect or remember back to whether that was in high end or in the low end field of things i want to say it was in the high end extremely restrictive and if it's not restrictive enough you have another option of getting a different port or a different post that goes on the inside that'll make it more restrictive as far as an open lung configuration possibility it's not a thing on the gt3 whenever you see it you see me using it it doesn't look like a typical gt3 it's kind of clear in the center and then it's the rest of the tank really the only part of this that is gt3 is the bottom of it the rest of the part is all from steam tuners based out of greece but what they did here is they removed the whole option of glass and now they're using a plastic called polysulfon polysulfony something like that it's basically plastic but the biggest problem you have with plastic is it could crack with very citric juices this is non-crackable i don't want to say indestructible but it's designed to take more of a beating as far as temperature is concerned juices it's just more of a stronger plastic than what we've already seen with the polycarbonate or any kind of pmma which is really acrylic very very compact small only designed for mouth to lung RTAs. And you asked for me to do reviews of this caliber, which I have no problem doing. You have to remember that when I started vaping, especially people that all started vaping back in 2015, 2016, there wasn't open airy anything, whether that's RDAs, RTAs. Really, the only way you got a lot of airflow was from something like an RDTA, which was actually called a Genesis, and now they're called RDTAs. Also, back then, you used stainless steel mesh as a wicking material versus now you use cotton. So things have changed a little bit, but it's all about being diverse. So without further ado, Typhoon, GTR, let's... Flip it. All right, so what we're looking at is the Smoker Store Typhoon GTR. You see right here on the bottom, and you can see that this has not been opened. However, I did take this out on the top just to kind of see what was in there. Then I put it back in. I also got sent this little accessory pouch, which is what they usually do when they send me products. I want to give a huge shout out to Smoker Store because one of the very few high end companies that can actually take criticism without being offended very easily and that's rare so basically you get these two little cards essentially a sim exact thing just kind of like hey here's some information about the company now these are the two tanks they are literally exactly the same thing i'm assuming the reason why he sent me this was if i was to do a test to try to get it to crack but i'm not really interested in that because i don't use a whole lot of citric juices to crack a tank this is a 1.5 option this is basically the post section that you put in the middle that'll give you more airflow configuration You'll see two holes right there on the top and then right there on the bottom. Inside the tube, you're gonna get a peripheral bag, which is gonna have some extra O-rings, an Allen key, and some extra post screws. Really nothing too crazy. The other stuff that is inside of the tube, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I cannot get out whatsoever because I would have to break this in half in order to get it out. I can get the card out, but you've already seen that. There is a manual in there which is gonna tell you how to use this. I guess it really doesn't matter, right? You're not here for that, you're here for this. As always with all smoker stores, products you're gonna have really really good machining i really do not even need to showcase this but i will on the top you could see that it is 
a little bit dirty, nothing too crazy, nothing permanent. Really good laser etching on that GTR right there. Drip tip is very, very tall. Not 100% sure I'm going to like that. But for people that do do mouth to lung, will probably enjoy this very thoroughly. Give you a zoom in real quick to take a look at that. No scratches, dings, dents, burrs, spurs, cowboy boots anywhere on it. Okay, so that is the top section, Typhoon GTR. And then on the bottom, Typhoon GTR again, made in Germany. And then there is kind of the authenticity code is what you use to validate whether or not what you have here is real. It did appear with that reflection that there was some pitting, but the more that you spin this, it's so reflective. It could have been finished a little bit better, but then again, this is the bottom of the RTA, so you're not really going to see that too often. The tank itself is what threw me off. When I saw this, I said, okay, that is a little bit dirty, but that's not. That's actually the material that looks like that. I'm not 100% sure if you're able to polish this or if you're able to use some type of dye to remove that color of the plastic itself. Would be very, very interesting to see if you could. First off, on the top, you're going to see a little hole here and a little hole there. Basically, all you do, it doesn't matter if you have that lined up or not, or you're not looking at that, you're just kind of holding the tank. You just grab this and then you turn this to the left and then that's going to stop which is going to line those two holes up now hold on let's put it back so you're just going to grab it turn it and then once it hits that you just pull it out very very clean on the inside there i don't know if that's that doesn't look like tooling mark that looks like the finish A couple little things in there. You have this lovely track right here, which is where that nipple catches right here and then goes around and locks this top cap in. So not only is it very, very easy to remove, it's extremely different. Like, extremely. Those are my fingerprints. And there you go. You have... Yeah, see, some of the finishing of this, I feel like it could have been polished a little bit better. Again, this is on the inside of it. It's just, listen, if I'm going to be nitpicky towards one thing, I'm going to be nitpicky towards everything else. Very, very superficial scratches on there. A little bit of scotch bright, touch that up, and then there is your other section. So basically, to put this back on, you just kind of set it in, you turn it a little bit, it catches, and then you turn it a little bit more, and now it's locked in. The knurling on this is super, super sexy. Also, on the bottom, take this off. Now, take a look at these right here. This spot, this spot, this spot. What that's for is this little ball bearing right there. So as you turn this, let me put it back on. Now, if you listen, you'll hear the different settings click in. So it goes all the way to the right, all the way to the left. You're gonna have two ports on this, one port here, and then on the other side, another port. You can essentially dial this in where you have the small one and then no one over here. And the more you turn it, you can adjust how small of that hole you wanna use. Then the same thing goes for over here. So say you like the big one, you can even cut half of the big one in half while cutting the other half of the other side. So it appears that if you want the most open configuration, you're gonna do the large there and then the large there. That's really all that you could do as far as very, very open. But keep in mind that there's no such thing as very, very open with this. Turn this all the way to the left, and now we're gonna unscrew it and take a look at the inside. Very good threading. Not a big fan of that little O-ring down there. There is the chimney. Very, very good machining there. See, on the outside of this, the machining is very well done. It's just, well, the inside there is pretty good. A little bit of a dry spot there. When this is on, first off, to be able to see where the ports are is going to be very difficult because of the color of the tank. But what I'm finding here is once you put this on, right, I have no idea how you see how open that is on the inside there. It should be a little bit more clear because this makes it very difficult to see what is going on. But you can see that that is opened up now. I think that this should have been adjustable a little bit easier because once you screw that down all the way, it kind of closes that off. And you can see the threading right there. You have kind of a, wow, that is unique. Channels on both sides that are parallel to each other, but you can kind of see over here that it's cut in half like it is here. So this one is more raised up 
than this one is over here. Juice is gonna come in directly through here, open up through this little port, and then travel up here and then go in. The only problem I see with this is it's not really designed for very, very thick, viscous juices. And usually mouth to lungs are not. People will use a 60-40, a 50-50, sometimes a 70-30, but usually 90s or 80 VGs aren't gonna be used in a type of configuration like this. Something I wanna point out when I open this up is I didn't even notice this. Like I would have mentioned it as soon as I popped this off, but the screws are missing out of this post. I guess I'm going to assume the reason why is either they fell out or those are the other two that are inside of here. So it doesn't in fact come with an extra two, it just comes with the two that you're supposed to use. This airflow that is in here is more restrictive, so I'm gonna use this one that's more open. And listen, we're talking about such negligible differences. One is 1.2 and I think 0.9, while the other one, yeah, see this has screws in it. There's one screw in it and then there's one screw on the bottom, so I'll have to take the screws out of the other one. Right here, they implemented the ledge, so as you tighten this down, you don't have to worry about that popping out, and they did that on all four, so whether or not you want to wrap your coils clockwise or counterclockwise, you'll be able to fit them in there, and you could see the machining of this threading, the machining of these channels, and even the machining of these posts. I'm telling you, bar none, Smoker Store got this shit down on lock. It's just the finishing of, like, the inside of the top section, and even down there on the bottom, they really thought that through. I thought that was a dream drop of water, but that's the little post that kind of goes into the bottom here to lock it in place. And then this is where the 510 pin is gonna screw into, and then more of your airflow configuration here. Very, very well thought out. I mean, check out the channel situation. Airflow come from one side onto this little section right here, and then airflow from the other side from the port. Extremely well thought out. Oh my goodness, even the machining of this little thing it kind of reminds me of a piston, doesn't it? Sort of, a little bit, no. I'm gonna have to fix this up a little bit. It's a little jacked up, but 26 gauge, simple. Here we go. Once you tighten it all the way down, and this is all good to go, right? And this is locked in like that. The problem you have is you don't have any option to get any kind of juice flow. I don't know why they didn't implement that with this. The more that you turn it to right, it'll kind of spin it and lock it down because no matter what you do, you have to essentially grab the top section and unscrew it a little bit to get juice flow to go in there. Because if you don't do that, well, then you're not gonna get any juice inside of the tank. Could have been designed a little bit better. Now keep in mind that drip tip that is on there is not from this tank, that's my own custom 510. So without further ado, that is the Typhoon GTR. Let's bring it on the top. GTR sitting on top of the iced haze mod. All right, here's the deal. Listen, I was trying to use this and be out of denial of this being a true mouth to lung RTA. I wanted it to be as more open lung as what the GT3 is on all settings. Guys, listen, I don't want to talk about other tanks when I'm reviewing this. However, let me just go on record by saying this. The GT3, bar none, is the best RTA that has ever been made. Even if you have the stock tank, which is quite large, it's still that good. Once you put the steam tuners configuration on this, 
with that airflow that they have on their base, I have no idea how no one else has been able to perfect that. The only thing that comes even remotely close would be that damn vape freesia. The airflow. I'm not gonna say that it has better flavor than that does, not by a long shot. I have both of the airports open up all the way. Now that may be a little bit crooked on there. That's because of this being a prototype and well, the black piece isn't really screwed in, it's pressed. This is literally the prototype. There's nothing on this. Anyway, uh, let me just show you 1.3 at 15 watts right there. Here we go. That is a direct lung when I'm doing like that, but it's very, very, very restrictive. And what makes this even better as a mouth to lung versus most mouth to lung is this drip tip. It plays such an instrumental part because your lips are going to surround it and you're going to kind of suck on it like you would a straw. So that makes it even more mouth to lung. And then the configuration, I really do not want to do this because I'm not a big fan of super, super restrictive RTAs, but let's cut this down. So one side is probably not going to focus, is closed off, and the other one is wide open. Same amount of power, 15 watts. And you saw a mouth along. Wow. You can do a direct lung, but oh my God. So let's use it with the smallest one, the, the tiny little baby one all by itself. Super, super restrictive. And me using three milligrams on this, it feels like I'm vaping on just like air, like that's it and just blowing out vape. But it's very difficult to get any kind of feeling on a three milligram on a mouth to lung. If you were to use the stock post that came with this, it would be even more restrictive. I find that the one that doesn't come with it can be restrictive. So if you want something extremely mouth to lung, this is gonna give it to you. Let me talk about some of the flaws. The machining on the top cap of this, once you take the top section off to fill it, first off, the branding is a little bit extreme. Like that's all over the top of this. I've never seen a Typhoon series have all that branding. I, I just don't like that. I would have much preferred that to be plain. However, it would have looked a little bit awkward, but it would look no different than what the GT4 did. Maybe, because the GT4 has a bigger drip tip, so you would see less of the top section. Also, the finishing on the top section of this, again, where you take the top part off to fill it, that on the inside could have been finished a little bit better. The machining is really good because of the nipples that grab it and lock in, and that innovation alone, we cannot downplay that at all. That and the airflow selection on the bottom. The top and the bottom section of this tank are so friggin' innovative, it's so badass. I love seeing shit like this. As far as the deck is concerned, it's not super innovative. What is, is the little post configuration that they have with the two ports, how you can get one larger and one smaller, which is an awkward take on it, versus one smaller and then one small, if that makes sense. So. You have two different post configurations that only one of the ports are a little bit bigger. I don't know how else to explain that to you without showing you the two, but you get it. So if you're looking for mouth to lung, this is it. This is probably the most mouth to lung RTA that I have. It's that tight. If I was to rate this RTA on a zero to 10 from where it's at, again, the machining of everything on the inside, the chimney, the post, even the airflow configuration, that little Ultim insert that they have down on the bottom that grabs the post. Wow. Zero to 10. I'm gonna put this in a 6.57 block. If it was cleaned up a little bit better, again, not filthy, I'm talking about cleaned up as far as the finishing is concerned, on the top and they removed that branding, I would probably go seven to a 7.5. I don't know how I would go anything above that. I don't think it's terrible, it's just really designed for someone with mouth to lung in mind. Should have probably done this instead of adding a little bit of a quirp or a quip, like quippy notes, I think that's what Gabe called them, little quips, sticky quips. No? Okay. 
stick equip this shit. Now we're at 24.5 watts on a 1.14. Here we go. That's raising the coil up and putting more power into it and one less wrap. What? Pretty come try this. You wanna try this? You wanna try this real quick? Not quite a GT3, and that's regular ass round. No fuse. Don't put the fuse clapton's in there. That's too much wire for so many people. Please don't put regular round in. Be normal like everybody else. You know what? Half the fucking people out there that don't use RTAs or even that do buy pre-made shit. So don't tell me my coil's not heating up properly. Of course it is. I had someone the other day, he said, man, you got six coils in here. Every time I watch you, two out of every coils you do are never heating up properly. Are you watching my videos? Like, you see them. It can handle more power. I don't know about anything more than 5.7 volts. So the flavor is on point with this, especially if you raise that coil up to let that air go through. Try not to use a three millimeter inner diameter like I did. I would probably go back and do a 2.5 to get more airflow, but this is really, really nice. You can get the same type of hit off of a GT3. It's just the GT3 is gonna be much, much harder to find than this. However, I think once all these are sold out, they're not going to make them again, considering what they're labeling this is as a special edition, meaning that they're probably going to make, I don't know, 200 to 500 of them, and then that's all. The GT3s, yo, there's a lot on the market, and I really suggest Smoker Store, if you guys do watch this, to continue to make those, because there's not a better tank on the market at all. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jamie's out.